All right, we have to talk about this. Is this a $60 game? Let's go. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing all right <laughs> before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up let's honestly talk about metroid dread and is this a 60 dollar game or rather is it worth 60 dollars now i got the idea of this video from um euro gamers john um litterman i forgot how to pronounce his name but he posted something on twitter about the game and one response said that if this was on the iphone this would be a three dollar game which sparked a lot of response and so, this game, Nintendo announced it at their E3, and it was revealed that it is a full $60 game, which is comparable to what most AAA games are right now. In fact, for this new generation, AAA games are now $70. A lot of dudes were, oh, Returnal. Um, this is a 3D Metroid S inspired by Metroid game that is $70, $10 more than Metroid Dread. But most AAA games are at the $60 price. Now, what do I have to say about this? I have to say yes and no. Yes, it's worth $60 and no at the same time. I don't think the answer is that simple. First, <coughs> no one has fully played the game yet. No one watching this video has played this game from beginning to end. And we don't know how much content is in this game. We don't know how much content it is in this game because even big AAA games are relatively short to beat. Resident Evil Village. Dudes were beating it in like the same day. And so, yes, of course, it's a more complicated engine or whatnot, Resident Evil Village. But we don't know the amount of content that's in this game. And so that's the first reason why I have to say we can't just say <coughs> this is a $14 game. Because most games on the eShop that look like this, and I have to keep it a buck, run about 20 bucks on the eShop. A 2D Metroidvania type game. They're about 30, 40, 40 bucks the most for this kind of game. Even though it's a three, it has 3D animations, it's on a 2D plane. Most of your time in this game, it's a 2D uh, Metroid, Metroid game. All right? But I have to be honest. The reason why this is a $60 game a big reason why it has the Metroid title with this. Honestly speaking, if you if this game was stripped, let's just let's just be honest for a second. Move away the whole Nintendo fanboy, Sony fanboy, Xbox fanboy. If you just saw this game on the eShop and it wasn't a Metroid game, let's replace um, Samus for just another character, and it wasn't called Metroid. And the eShop listed this for $60, dudes would be upset. Dudes would rage. I already know it. Dudes would be like, this is not a $60 game if it didn't have the Metroid title by just looking at it. Because we've been accustomed to games now on a 2D plane not being $60. And we have to factor in the reason why most games are now $60 because games used to be 
$50, bro. I remember going to Toys R Us, buying my Sega Genesis, NES games. They were $50. $49.99 used to be the going price for games. But they jumped up in the HD era and developers were citing more complex engines, more people on a development team, and games being more just expensive to make. That's and the, so they warranted the price. Another thing is, I'm not a developer. I don't know how many people were involved in making this game. Um, we have to say though that whatever engine they used, this isn't an expensive engine. Just going by what you're seeing with the animations, it's not. It's not. But here's another thing I want to consider. Metroid Prime 4 is coming out on the Switch. Um, they've, they've reconfirmed that the game is in development before they announce this game. <clears throat> More Every Prime game has been a 3D game. Let's just say, and we already know, um, Rare. Is it Rare? I'm getting Rare and Retro. Retro, Retro. I always get Rare and Retro confused. Retro, the developer of Metroid Prime. This is confirmed. They're hiring some big time developers to make this game. Call of Duty devs, etc. So the game sounds like it's going to be an expensive triple A game. In a 3D, 3D environment, probably going to be on a huge planet. And let's just say they add multiplayer to Metroid Prime 4. And then charge $60 for that game. Can you still say, well, I could still justify $60 for this game? And now, notice I never just flat out said, nah, this ain't worth $60. All I'm doing is bringing up points and saying, just being real, if Metroid was stripped of this, the, this game was not called Metroid, it didn't have Samus, and another character was plugged in instead of Samus, and by just looking at it, again, we don't know the amount of content. By just looking at it, if this was priced at $60, the internet would rage. Nintendo fans would rage. What is XYZ Studio doing um, charging us $60 for this game? But I have to say, a big reason is it would be bad business to release a Metroid game and not charge it the full price because it stains the reputation of the game um, you have Metroid Prime about to come out. You want to keep the quality of the title. And there's never been a bad Metroid game. So that being said, um, I'm not going to say yes or no that it's worth $60. I'm just throwing out points out there for you guys to discuss in the comment section of this video. But, 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 time will tell. And at the end of the day, it's going to be based on the gamer and your enjoyment of the game. We don't know how good or bad this game is going to be. We got gameplay from Treehouse, but no one has played this game yet. So we can't tell. All right. I can tell you this. Those special editions, before I started this video, I was looking up on eBay. Those special editions are going for hundreds and hundreds of dollars already for this game. Again, it's been 19 years since we got a brand new um, 2D Metroid game. We've had Prime has been more recent, but a 2D Metroid game, it's been 19 years, and this is what we have. So, Metroid is um, coming back. On my PS5, I've already shared with you guys, uh, Returnal, heavily inspired by Metroid. If you play this game for one hour, you'll know that it was heavily inspired by Metroid. This is my current game of the year. A phenomenal, it's tough, <laughs> but if you stick with it, it's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic game. All right, I just want to share that. What do you guys think? Is Metroid Dread worth $60? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, Whoa. bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro.
We out. Peace. Peace.